Hello, and my name's Al, and welcome to 60 Diesels. We are a little garage in Topside of Dorset that are basically, as you can see, slightly Mercedes crazy. Uh, we do Volkswagen LTs, we're a bit sprinter mad, and uh, basically anything with a metal badge on it, and the occasional Volkswagen. So it's Monday morning, and um, I thought I'd give you a tour around our yard and show you. Oh my god, all the stuff we've got in this week and all the project stuff. Now, if you see behind me, this is today's absolute cracker. We'll give you a wonder around that in a minute. It belongs to a customer of ours, and that is probably one of the rarest, highest option sprinter vans I've seen in years. She is an absolute beaut. Um, I'll swing my phone around in a minute and we'll go and have a wonder around it. So, basically, 316 CDI, so 2.7 five cylinder, rare option on an early uh, early facelift sprinter. Original Merc early wheels, you'd never see original Merc early wheels, no one ever specced early wheels on a van. And for all you eagle eyed people out there, the other mass rarity, once I've found what I've done with the keys, the keys will be one of the mass rarities. It's got remote central locking. Nothing ever came with remote central locking. So, factory twin side loading doors with factory fitted windows. You never see those. She is 2.7, let's say, 2.75 cylinder. Spread shift automatic. It's got aircon. It's got traction control. It's got auxiliary boost heating. It's got front headlight washers. I mean, when, and a wooden dash trim kit, which I'm assuming is probably not from the Mercedes factory, but it has got some interesting pieces of wood wedged in the doors as well. It's got electric windows. It's got electric mirrors. I mean, you just never see, and, and electric heated mirrors. Um, suspension seat, that is like gold dust. And what an absolutely cracking thing. 83,000 miles. That's just passed its MOT this morning. And for the nice man, Lindsay, that owns it, absolutely clean with her. I think we chucked a light in it. Sadly, he has slightly ruined it this size, but we'll fix that later on. Um, so, for this week's project list, we have... Where the hell do we start? We've got one of them. I'm not a fan. It belongs to a friend of mine. And um, in the standard over badge way, it's been... Um, itself lightening itself again standard spec every year a bit more self-lightening repair so currently so far wing in a wing door pillar got a bit of a, a bit of a silly issue going on there somewhere just um waiting for some bits and then we've also got to put two new wings on the old horror um friend of mine's T4, I'm not the greatest T4 fans, but it is a very nice one. T5 TDI, uh, the intercoders fell off of mounted brackets. One of the boost pipes is split. It's due a cam belt and a service, so we'll do that. Um, we have my lovely old 210 that I rescued out of a field. The worst rat finked van I've ever had to deal with in my life. But rare old goat, 295 cylinder. Um, really quite sensible miles, like about 140, which is rare. One owner from new. Registers an ambulance, so she has no side loading door on the side. Um, so that's on the project list. That needs quite a lot of body work. Um, we've got to finish our big IV code this week. Um, she's due in, uh, finish washing it, um, get her prep for a ministry test. Um, fatty, uh, fatty is one of our recovery trucks, and she has been doing self self lightening again. So she's due seals, wheel arches, the roof's leaking. Um, I hit it with a lorry. Um, then what else we got? Then we have our two G400s. Um, that's one of them. The other one is actually not here because it is still sort of working at the moment. Um, this one's got mass SAMS unit problems. So that's on the list to sort. Plus a load of other issues. It does run and drive its 400 V8 CDI. And we've got another one with a boogered timing chain. So we got to do that as well. Everyone says they're awful, but there's only one way to find out. Uh, R6 Tunner, which has been, well, doing what IVCOs do, sort of slightly, that died, 3 litre turbo diesel, and then she's, um, she's been doing some more self-lightening, when they've got the cab roof sort of, uh, 
bit more self lightening. Probably not worth the ag, but let's be honest, I like it. It's mine. So, let's grab that up. Um, we are waiting on Un Body for me, man. Still waiting on the body for the man, so she's just going to stay parked here. We have a uh, Mercedes, not Mercedes, it's a Volkswagen LT535 chassis cab. We bought the weekend for a bit of a love, a bit of tidy up. Number plates possibly find it a body. What else have we got around here? Um, got the other 313, which is now all welded up, um, but it's due lights, grill, straightening, and a coat of paint. Uh, my, 60, my 603 turbo diesel, um, left hooker, four wheel drive lovely 124 which still needs finishing and is filling up with water that's a uh, e320 coupe swiss registered sadly missing the gearbox but we've got super turbo diesel plans for that again and we thought we'd get the 3.2 converted 201190 out and um it's got a three liter e-class engine in it which is good fun um, but it's automatic so we thought we'd finally get around turning that to manual um, we have got to come in here and dig this out, which is my 158 LT35, which died, as you can see. Um, we thought, mm, be much more fun with something more interesting in it. Um, so I have bought uh, W211 um, E-Class OM648 engine, which is sat here. And um, we'll get that thrown in. We've got a Jeep with a buggered gearbox. That's on the list. The lovely little Mark 1 Golf Campaign GTI with a 1820 valve turbo in it that we got to get around to finishing. It just needs a wiring harness, so that's on the list. What else have we got here? Um, that's just customers for storage. That's dead. This, um, this is on the list. So 420 SEC, a lot of it's done. Really, she's due a cut paint. All the wings have been made, repaired. So I'd better go on with that. Oh, the GL. Um, the GL, we've got to get in. That's on my list. Two wheel bearings, airbags, EGR valves. That's four, that's four litre V8 CDI as well. Ignore the dumper trucks. Uh, just sort of sat in. So we're into, that's the scrap corner. That's stuff that's never going to go again. So here we have, that's another one that we're going again. So still on the project list. Uh, my left hand drive Lithuanian registered um, people carry a bus. Um, it's had a whole front because it hit a lorry on the M25. Just got to do the rest of the body work. Um, uh, got Big Doris. Um, my LT recovery truck, which is back and running again after we went a bit silly and mounted a piston. So she's got the old E Class 603 turbo diesel in it. Um, not stupidly, stupidly, stupidly zooped up, but she's quite fast. She's got a six mil pump. Um, and some other fairly standard parts, but it works really well. It pulls like a steam train. We've got to finish that off because she's out of test. And what else we got? That's all scrap. Uh, customers 906 with some dents and bits hanging off of it. Oh, hang on. Uh, yeah, this is just sort of stuff that's been sat here for ages. I must do something with my two Audi 80s. I'll get there. I will. Um, here we got 300 turbo diesel, German registered. Um, locked. That's in for some welding. That belongs to a mate. And then Ultra Rare W124. Left hand drive French Sportline Manual 3.2. And uh, back here is a uh, Mark II Golf GTI 16 valve. Solid. Got a half fitted BAM engine out of a TT and it never got finished. That's on the list. Uh, that sprinter's now officially a shed. There is a W202 there. Um, it's just, just there. And then, I think, that's about all majorly. Well, apart from when you go inside. Uh, customers, 207. It didn't have 207 anymore. That came in uh, minus an engine. So it's got a, what are we putting it? 601. Um, failed its MAT on... Uh, screen rod and into the bulkhead so that's due in in the next couple of weeks the panels are here we'll do a video on that um that's a really rare old thing actually that's an italian left hooker 250 turbo diesel um italian market only won't find another one of them that's lovely um, if anyone wants a project i do have this which i'd like to see the back of is a little one owner renault 5 van runs and drives 
but the Renault 5 Extra van has got gout. Um, and I think via that, just won't look at the G-Wagon, that's going to be a nightmare. Um, bum, 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 bum. What else we've got kicking around? Iveco engines, they do. Um, another dead Iveco, don't worry about that. Oh, yeah. Um, my 40,000 mile uh, two owner, lovely. 413 X Metropolitan Riot van, which we're converting back to a van because I want it as a tall van. 40,000 miles from you. Uh, first wave, Dom. You get to be on video. It's great fun, you know. Uh, what else we got on here? <sighs> Pleasure 305 fan. That's what the project is. She's a bit rusty. Garrett's Dochelet 19226 manual. That's a customer's must get on with that. Um, oh, Christ, what else is in here? The world's most knackered camper van. We're not talking about that. XM latched you out this week. Mm -hmm. Dom's on floor pans, centre console, a load of work on a little Fiat 500. And, dum, dum, dum. oh yeah, hang on, we've gone about this. So currently sat, someone kept trying to steal our trailer over the Christmas period. So sat there awaiting a coat of paint is a super long wheelbase Dutch T1 was a 308D, has now got a 2.95 cylinder in it um, and a few adjustments. So it's now technically a 310. Um, what else have we done to it? I'll do a video on it. We've taken the nasty plastic arches out of it. It's all ready to go, but that's for painting, but we've been using it to stop people stealing the trailer because we leave it outside, they try to nick it. Um, general selection of engines and stuff. And then last off, my Vico engine to go back in the big green one. And the Ford Pop, but the Ford Pop's long term. I reckon that about covers it for a minute. So we've got to sort of get the anger of this YouTube thing. It is fairly new to us. Um, so we'll start doing a few videos. I mean, we do Mercs, Volkswagens, and a whole degree of random craziness. Um, so yeah, once we get the YouTube channel gum going, I will apologise because my editing skills are a bit rubbish at current. So hopefully we'll get better with it. And um, I suppose I'll better sign off and go and do some work. Thank you very much, people. Right in front again.